LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, but have different retainer clips underneath the keys. To help you find the correct repair video for your keyboard, we've created a searchable database. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, enter your laptop brand and model number, Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on View Videos. A list of all compatible videos will appear. Select the retainer clip model that matches your keyboard. That's all. You're now ready to repair your laptop keyboard. We will be demonstrating the removal and reattachment of the Enter key in place of wide keys, the apostrophe and quotation key in place of the standard keys, and the settings key in replace of the top row keys. To remove the keys, you can use either a spudger or a flathead screwdriver or some similar tool of your choice. To begin with the removal, simply take your tool and insert it below the key and apply gentle upward pressure around the edge of the key. Until you feel it removed. For the wider keys, there will be a small metal arm used for support. Simply unhook one end and push to remove from the other end. To undo your clips, simply insert your tool between the two and push gently to the sides. The removal process is the same for the other clip. To assemble a new clip, take the bottom with a small notch at the bottom facing upward and your top clip with a small opening at the bottom with a notch facing downward. Assemble the two using holes and a notch along the side and then hook from the bottom firm press at the top, replace your rubber cup in the center if necessary. To reattach the metal arm, simply hook along the notches at the bottom of your key, and then hook one side in, followed by the other, Lay down flat, press firmly, and the key is fixed. To remove your standard size keys, repeat the process. Insert your tool below and apply gentle pressure around the edge. That one just popped off. Uh, to remove your clips, insert your tool between the two, apply gentle pressure to the sides, and they will separate. To reassemble your clips, Simply take the bottom one with a small notch at the bottom facing upward and align it with the top clip with the smaller squares at the bottom with a small notch also at the bottom facing downward. Push the two clips together, align with hooks at the bottom, firm press at the top, replace your rubber cap if necessary. Place your key on top with a firm press, and it's replaced. To remove a top row key, insert your tool at the bottom, apply gentle pressure around the edge until it pops off. To remove the clips, if necessary, insert your tool between the two, gentle pressure at the top and bottom until they are separated remove. To assemble your clips, you will start with the bottom clip with a small notch on the right side facing upward, and attach it to the top clip with the thinner hole on the right side with a notch on the bottom. Line them up with the holes in the center. Attach on the right side 
confirm press on the left replace your rubber cup in the middle if necessary and on the bottom of this key you will notice two clips here and an attachment here you will want the two on the left and the one on the right place it on top of the clip with a firm press and it is reattached